Two weeks, but former employees and vendors are still trying to get back what's left inside United Furniture Plants. WTVA's Garner Montgomery is live in Belden. He shares how one local law firm is trying to help. Today, I spoke with attorneys from Langston and Lott in Boonville to learn more about the lawsuit they are filing against United Furniture Industries lender, Wells Fargo. We filed a class action complaint on behalf of Atkins Trucking, who has a trailer at the United Furniture facility that's essentially being held hostage by Wells Fargo, United Furniture's lender. Attorney Casey Lott says Wells Fargo learned about United's abrupt closing at the same time as its employees, forcing them to react quickly. So they hired a security company, uh, Security Association of Mississippi, to go to the plants and secure the plants to make sure that no one could come in and out. With the numerous trailers, trucks, and personal belongings being left at these plants, Langston and Lott has formed a plan to streamline the process so anyone can get their stuff back. We have filed a class action complaint for the purpose of getting one judgment, one resolution entered by the court that says that everyone can go get the property that they rightfully own. Simpson commented on how he felt about the situation and why Langston and Lott is taking measures to help those affected most. It's tragic and it's sad to see a situation like this which was preventable that the only reason it's been put into place is because companies haven't taken the efforts to be diligent and make sure that the property they laid claim to is their own, but instead it's others. Lot told WTVA that they are not looking for monetary compensation uh, for this low lawsuit, but to simply make sure that these people and these companies are getting back what's rightfully theirs. Uh, live from Belden, I'm Gordon Montgomery with WTVA 9 News.